D. Welcome back to MSNBC Live. I'm Carlos Watson. Now, there are more questions and answers following the death of Michael Jackson. Jackson's five-page will, written seven years ago, answers some of those questions, but actually raises others. Joining me now is Tricia Posner from The Daily Beast, and Karen DeSoto, defense attorney and former prosecutor. And back again is Richard Wolf. Uh, Tricia, so you wrote uh, earlier today on The Daily Beast, very provocative. You said, as we look at this Michael Jackson case, one of the enduring questions that we have to ask is, is a 79-year-old woman, as wonderful as she may be, his mother, is she really equipped, uh, Michael Jackson's mother, to take care of his three kids, age 7 to 12? Say more about that. Um, well, I think it's, it's such a hard uh, subject to talk on because it's so new. And I think she, of all people, knows what Michael went through. And she wants to take care of these children in a way that he was not taken care of. And they are, I think she's a, a, a remarkable woman for what she's been through. And everything that's been coming up in the last uh, few days, she seems to be handling it remarkably well. I mean, we keep on talking about the fact that she's 79, but she's, a, she's the type of woman that knows how to handle this stuff. I think that she protected Michael in such a way that her kids and everybody around her will rally around her and help her. I, I just think that the, the background that he came from is what she's trying to protect the, her grandchildren from. Uh, uh, Richard, I look, I look at this, and I admire anyone who steps in and is willing to help take care of the kids. And obviously there are lots of grandparents all around the country, all around the world, who do that and step into difficult situations and do that. But I feel like when we're talking about this, it's kind of a little more make-believe again. It's a little more Peter Pan. I, 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 how I how is it credible that this 79-year-old woman who's not in good health, whose son arguably wasn't Johnny on the spot in terms of the three kids, that now she's going to step in with all of the pressure that she's under and that these kids are going to be better off for it. Uh, she didn't do a great job of raising her own family. Uh, the rest of the siblings are in no position to raise the kids either. Uh, and I'm sorry, but Trisha, I don't know if you can still hear me, but how do you know any of this stuff? How do you know the character of, of well, Michael think, Jackson's mother? I think that if you look at Michael Jackson's mother, she was married when she was 19. She went through a really abusive relationship. She had 10 children. She lost one child, the twin. And I think that this child, which was her baby, she really wanted to protect. I mean, this was really a dysfunctional background, and any of us that come from a dysfunctional Aren't you background... just projecting okay. onto these people a character that we're making up here? I mean, seriously. We're, we're just, I don't we, think we we're making no... anything up. I... Let me say this about what happened, what the court looks at, and one of the reasons why age is such an important factor. Age is an important factor because any child who's gone through a trauma is going to bond with their primary caretaker. If you're going to bond with your primary caretaker and they're 80 years old and you lose them again in a couple of years, then you're going to do more harm to that child than good. That's the problem. It's not that she's not a wonderful person. It's just that you're going to put the kids, you're going to leave them in a a worse state than you are, and that's not in their best interest. So where, okay, so where do these children go? We all, we're all talking about the, ma uh, the grandmother is not uh, capable, you're saying. Then where do these children go? Tr I mean, Trisha, where, I, think you're, I, I think that question is spot on, because I look around, I mean, do you want to give them back to, to two of the kids, to the mother, Debbie Rowe, who, so if, if you believe yeah. what one of the reports said, which is she said that these are not Michael's kids, um, exactly. And so therefore she kind of fundamentally sold their kids in a sense. They don't want to give them back to her. If you don't give them the mom, I, mean, I, I haven't okay, felt really well, comfortable yeah. with some of the siblings and what they've had to say, or the father, Joe Jackson. Well, I can tell you from an attorney's perspective, I did state termination rights of parents. And I can tell you after 10 years, people will crawl out of the woodwork who have said horrible things and have gotten custody of their children back. Biological parents are biological parents. so. They, well, what's, there's the, a what's, 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 what's the but best situation for the kids? But it is an old well, situation. The, the, the best sorry. situation, obviously, listen, I mean, let's use common sense here. Obviously, one of the brothers who maybe has children around the same age. Now, of course, the answer to that is maybe none of them are stepping forward because they're afraid of getting a backhand from uh, Joe Jackson if they say anything about their mother not getting custody. So, obviously, the best situation would probably be a brother who's married in a stable environment and has uh, kids around the same age. Obviously, that would be great. But is there any, but is there a stable environment around that family? 
I mean, I know that myself and many people have been thrown back and forth into different situations in dysfunctional families. Well, what family is stable? I mean, these... For me? Uh, uh, Trisha, uh, yeah, Karen, 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 yeah, Karen, Karen was, raising, was raising yet another question, Richard, which we were talking about earlier, which is, you know, all of us in glass houses, you know, it's tough to throw stones in a country no, I, which I, the divorce rate is 50% but, plus. But, and the but difference here, too, is there's going to be a lot of help. Nannies, governesses, things that I, normal people will not have. You guys, i got to take us to break. I apologize. I love this conversation. i got to take us to break. got to leave it there. Trisha Poser in Miami, thank you. Karen DeSoto, great to have you as well. Coming up, today's Unexpected.